Hi there, I'm Alex from Advanced Installer and I hope you are having an amazing day. Now, let's talk about auto updates for your MSI packages. In the past, the MSI technology didn't really offer a solution for developers regarding updates and most of them place the update functionality inside the application itself. With MSIX, you have multiple options, one of them being the Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store allows you to keep your app up to date automatically, not needing to worry about or develop custom code in your application. However, if you want to upload an MSIX to the Microsoft Store, you might be a bit overwhelmed by the process or not know where to start. But what if you want to sideload an MSIX and keep the same update functionality? Microsoft introduced the option to sideload applications directly from remote sources starting with Windows version 1709. It allows you to sideload your applications from a website through the use of an app installer file. The app installer files offer you the possibility to install a main package, optional package and dependencies. For each of those mentioned packages in the app installer file, you can specify a source parameter. This source parameter can be your website URL or an UNC path. The frequency of update checks can also be set from the app installer file. Now, if we have a look on a sample app installer file, we can see that the app installer URI is the URL for the app installer file and the app installer version, right? And the app installer installs a main package called your company, your application with the version 1.0.0 and contains the URL for the MSIX file, which is somewhere on a website. You can also see in the update settings that hours between update checks is defined with zero, meaning that every time you open the application, it checks the specified URL to see if a new app installer and MSIX package is present there and updates it if necessary. Just as a reminder, in order to use the auto update functionality, the package must be installed from the app installer file, not the MSIX itself. With advanced installer, we made it easier for our customers to create the app installer file. So if you navigate to the build page, you will see an app installer tab, right? Navigating to that tab will bring you up all the options available for you to create this file. In here, you can specify the URL where the app installer and MSIX package will be available, the frequency check, but also other options that were added over time. With automatic background task checked, periodic checks for updates are made in the background even if the application was not launched. The check for updates interval is 8 hours. Another option, Show Prompt, informs the user about the update through a prompt, but it's only available in Windows 10 version 1903 or higher. Force update from any version enables updating from a higher version to a lower version. Without this option, the application can only be updated to a higher version. Last but not least, updates block activation stops the user from launching the application until the update has been installed. Enabling this option will give the user the option to decide if he wants to install the update or to close the application. Keep in mind that changes for this technology might appear over time and the current layout might be different in the future. Be sure to keep an eye on our user guide and blog regarding any changes. So whenever you have another update for your application, repeat the same steps above and copy both the MSIX file and app installer file to the desired URL. Now let's jump on a machine and have a quick demo on how this app installer file works. Okay, so I've already opened up Advanced Installer, so let's now create a simple MSIX package. We are just going to place this sample exe. Let's create it from scratch, call it a sample application. Okay, next, next, and finish. Now we are going to browse to the files and folders, add the sample exe. Okay. Uh, Let's sign the package also. So go to digital signature, enable signing, and I'm going to select a test certificate that I have on my machine. And now let's navigate to the builds page. And if we navigate here, you will see the app installer tab that I previously mentioned. Now I already have a network share where I can place my MSIX and uh, app installer file. 
uh, but you can use uh, a web location of course and I'm going to tell MSIX that every time the application starts I want it to check this location here to see if there are any new updates okay I'm not going to check any other options we're just going to leave it simple like this now let's click save and build Okay, cool. So now that our package is built, let's copy it to this network location that I was mentioning, mentioning a little bit earlier. Paste it here. Now, remember to use the auto update functionality, you need to install the application via the app installer file. Okay, so double click the app installer file, install the application and launch it, of course. Now, I specifically left a mistake in the package and I didn't point the MSIX package uh, to the sample.exe that we have inside it okay so this is a blank page we are going to fix this error inside the version 2.0 of the application okay so let's go back to product details increase the version to 2.0 okay we are going to fix our mistake it's totally fine go to application details uh, yeah generate a new product code and select that our application is compiled and it should point to the sample exe okay now again save and build the package okay cool so now we can copy the build files the app installer and the msix package back to the shell location okay yes replace both files now if we open the application it should check okay and see it updates okay and now our sample exe should start come on okay and this is our sample.exe so this is how easy it is uh, with advanced installer to create the app installer files so that's it for this video if you want more details about the app installer files, I will leave some links in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our blogs or forums. See you next time. Bye bye.